I'm I'm definitely a big supporter of breastfeeding even more now than I was before. Um, if you're able to do it even for a small amount of time, there's immense benefits for baby, and as I said, there's also benefits for the mom. And obviously, the longer you're able to go, the more benefits, but even if it's just a short time while you're in the hospital, I say if you're on the fence, at least give it a try. Northside Hospital Cherokee, where, I, where we deliver, have great lactation support and also great nursing support. So if you're interested at all, I say at least give it a try during the time that you're there. And the other advice I would say is that if you're interested at all in breastfeeding, then um, being educated, getting the support you need both from fam family as well as having a game plan. Because I tell a lot of moms you kind of have to be stubbornly committed if this is something you want to do, especially if you're going to be returning to work. For instance, for me, it's easy in a busy clinic to be tempted not to stop, but you need to, to maintain your supply. You need to pause to you know, do the regular pumping. I'm blessed to have a medical assistant who in the early days would kind of lecture me if I hadn't stopped and she knew it was my scheduled time. Another thing I'd say as well is one benefit at this practice is that since I'm a nursing mom and we're, you know, we've met, our, met and surpassed our goal of a year, you've got me as a great resource and there's a lot of good social media, media resources that I can connect you with as well. Sure, so I knew that breastfeeding firstly is the way that our bodies are created to give our, body, our babies the best nourishment. It's great for breast health, for bonding, so it has benefits for baby, both for baby and for mom. It actually can help to impact things such as breast cancer risk for mom. So one of the things that I enjoy the most about breastfeeding, especially at this stage, is the bonding. I work during the day and long hours as an OBGYN, but because we have that breastfeeding re feeding relationship, I'm guaranteed quality snuggle time with my baby. So I think that's the biggest benefit for him and for myself. The additional benefit is that he's, thank God, remained pretty healthy. Um, breastfeeding is a great way to support a healthy immune system for a baby. So that's one of the things that I think has helped so that he hasn't really gotten sick. We initially had a really tough time with the lash and ultimately my son got diagnosed with both tongue tie and lip tie. So initially breastfeeding was very painful even though we worked with lactation consultants from the start. There's different things anatomically that are required for the baby to get a good latch around the breast. And if there's not as good movement from the tongue or the lip to allow the baby to be in the right position, that can impact the baby's ability to get enough milk transferred and it can also be a thing that causes pain for the mom. So we actually ended up seeing an ENT who specializes in tongue tie and lip tie and he did a quick procedure that basically allowed those structures to move more freely and allow my son to nurse in a more comfortable position for him and for me. Sure. So one of the things that's important if you're wanting to breastfeed is to make sure that you're doing a constant and consistent supply. So for me being away from my baby, that means that every few hours I need to kind of mimic what my baby would be doing through pumping. So even before I return to work, I you know, put a schedule in my phone, I communicated with our, our office manager so she knew what schedule I needed, and basically when my alarm goes off, try to stop what I'm doing and hook up and empty the boobies. So, so um, yeah, that's a great question about ha what happens for a husband when a, a mom is breastfeeding. So the good thing, especially now that my son's older, there's plenty of time when I'm either showering or doing else in the house that my husband can connect with my son. He's very much a proponent of breastfeeding and definitely supports it. Um, we don't, um, I don't give him expressed milk when I'm home. He gives my son the express milk when I'm on cold, for instance, if I'm out of the house during a feeding or when my son's at daycare, you know, that person will give my son express milk. So there's opportunities for him to feed my son. But I will say my husband was particularly excited once my son was old enough to take solids because he felt that he could take more of a role in the feeding. But he's been very supportive of breastfeeding from the beginning.